Hey, hey Bumper, uh, obviously this is a kind of a homecoming game for all you Texans. How exciting is it for you guys? I mean, how exciting is it for you personally? What do you, you think about all the Texas guys and, and you get into obviously playing a, in a great stadium? Yeah, such a big game, especially from being being from Texas, obviously like recruiting wise as well. Um, you know, I have so many friends from my high school that went to AM. You know, same thing with Texas. You know, these these games are, mean so much, not only, you know, for me, but for recruiting and just kind of the but such a big fan base, honestly, of Razorbacks in that Dallas area. So um, I'm excited to see you know, the turnout of the Razorback fans there, and it's gonna it's gonna be a big one. Does this mean a little extra because you guys were supposed to get to play in Houston against TCU, and you know uh, you didn't get to play that game? Obviously, does does this help? I don't know, make up for that a little bit, or um, you know, I'm you know we TCU that was last year, but I think you know this A&M game, honestly, not playing there at Dallas Cowboys Stadium last year. Um, we're excited to get back in there and, um, you know, we love that stadium. And so I think it's going to be a great, uh, great atmosphere. Thanks. Ty, no offense, but you're not from Texas. So, you know. <laughs> Hodge. Ty, what, what was last week like, uh, you know, not getting the start, but then having to play three different spots along the offensive line? Uh, it was a little stressful, but I mean, it was fun going out there and playing a little bit of tackle and then, you know, going from guard and then back to center. And I played guard and center before, but I mean, I, it was fun. It was, uh, I felt like it was a good game. Uh, but I mean, it's all about just trying to help the team really. How difficult is it going from, you know, an interior spot like center and guard where you played a lot to, to play and tackle? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say there's any like huge differences, but it's definitely a lot of like the little things that add up. Uh, trying to cut off like a four eye and inside zone is very different than, you know, whatever a guard or center does. Uh, it's the little things like that. And it's just, I think it's just time and trying to get used to it. Otis. Otis, you with us? Nope, you're muted. Hey, Scotty. I, I got a bulldog pulling at me down here. Uh, hey, uh, Bumper, how much did the uh, fact that Arkansas got that exposure in the Fort Worth, in the Arlington area, did that play any role at all in you getting interested in Arkansas? I mean, I know you had other ties, but did that play any role at all? Yes. I mean, obviously, I had my ties to Arkansas with my dad and inside the family, but the there's so much, I mean, honestly, there's so many people from my high school that went to Arkansas. So, you know, going to Arkansas was a, a popular thing. And I think it's just continuing to grow. Um, I look back now and I think the class that goes to Arkansas just continues to grow every single year. A lot of people feel like that game has not helped in our, Texas like people thought it would. But I don't know. I mean, they, you guys have signed quite a few players out of Texas since you got here. I mean, don't you feel like it is helping Arkansas? You know, my personal opinion, yes, just because, I mean, I'm from there and I love the game always being there. I think it brings, you know, a, a great atmosphere. And honestly, whenever you get um, that many Arkansas fans in, in Dallas, it just creates a buzz and um, kind of grows that reach that Arkansas has. Thanks, man. Scotty. Hey, for, for both of you, uh, Torian Carter has matched his tackle total from last year in just three games. Uh, what do you guys think has has helped him do that? Um, yeah, he's just kind of honestly this offseason went to work, got bigger. Um, honestly, he's so strong. And I think he finally uh, figured out that he is a great player and has now has a bunch of confidence in himself. So it's great to see him flying the ball. And, you know, he's got a great coach and um, just love seeing him play and excited that it's um, coming to fruition. Yeah, I uh, totally agree. Uh, I think spring ball helped him a lot too. Uh, I know he got a lot of reps in spring and he, he really took it serious and he didn't take spring off. So I think that helped him a lot. And then he took the off season, you know, he got bigger in the weight room. I think he's definitely gotten a lot better. And the last thing, Ty, I wanted to ask you about Rocket Sanders. Uh, what has stood out, you know, about him to you or, or what's something that you've picked up on that, that he does and the carries that he's gotten? Uh, just, I mean, like all our backs, I just love how hard he runs. I mean, that, one Texas touchdown where he's trying to run through the guys, he runs in the end zone. I mean, that's awesome to watch as an O-lineman. It's rewarding for us, too, because, you know, we're blocking, and to see a running back run so hard like that is awesome. Nate? Ty, just how many positions did you practice at today? 
<laughs> just uh, just one for right now. And also, I guess a And M has got like uh, I think seven straight shutout quarters. Just how do you compare their defense against everybody else you played? Uh, I mean, right now we're really just trying to take it one game at a time and not, you know, compare Texas A&M to Texas or Rice or Georgia Southern. You know, we're here to go out and play our best against Texas A&M. Just what do you think of their defense just then? Just I mean, they're, they're definitely a solid defense. They do a lot of really good things. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see how we match up. Thank you. Tom? Well, for what's your description of the, the A&M offense and what Calzada has done? in his game and a half. Yes, he stepped in, <clears throat> done a great job. Um, you know, I think they had a quarterback battle right up to the first game. So both those guys are very capable. Um, you know, they're they're an SEC style offense. You know, they want to run the ball. Um, Spiller's a great back. You know, we faced him last year. Uh, they got they got weapons and, and you know we're you know just continuing to game plan and just simplify our looks and uh, we're excited to see um, like like Ty said how we match up and uh, we're excited about it. Okay, and to the both of you, is, um, what, 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 does this losing streak, how, how much does it stick in your craw? And how much do you hear from the people about wanting to end this streak? It's definitely never fun to hear, but again, I mean, you just got to take it one game at a time. You can't go out there and play because we've lost however many in a row. You're going out there to win this one. Yeah, so at the end of the day, nothing, the wins or losses from last year matter. Um, this is a new year, this is a new team. Um, obviously, there's a there's a fire lit inside of us wanting to get this win. Um, so we're just taking uh, what we see on film from this year and how we're playing this year um, into Saturday. Okay. And, and Ty, uh, I don't know if you know the last guy to play three positions in one game for the Razorbacks, but it was two guys in the same game. It was um, Sebastian, Tritola, and uh, Ragnow, two legendary Razorbacks. So what is it like to follow into their shoes? Uh, it's really cool. Those are two really cool names to hear. I mean, obviously, you know, Frank and Trey Toller are O-line legends here. And and wasn't that the game Trey Toller threw a touchdown to, though? So that's, that's right. A, that's a tough comparison, though. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Come back around, Bob. Yeah, Ty, maybe you can throw a touchdown in, in another game. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I assume you guys get four tickets for, for the game stuff for each game. Is that um, bumper? How compet how many games have you been? I know guys usually ask teammates for tickets for road games, although text, you know, Dallas isn't that far from here, but how many tickets have you been able to uh, round up and how competitive is it among all you Texas guys trying to get tickets from guys like Ty or whoever, you know, aren't from Texas. Yes, no, it's competitive. My, my sister honestly kind of takes charge with that. You know, she, she's always trying to get people's tickets. She's always on me asking my buddies. So, you know, she honestly gets the credit for, you know, willing and dealing with the tickets. But can you, do you mind saying how many you've been able to, to round up? You know, honestly, I, I don't know. I know, you know, I, I got my parents. Um, and then, you know, besides that, Maddie kind of takes care of everyone else needing tickets. And um, but I don't know the exact number now. And Ty, I mean, I know your folks usually go to the games. Are you using all yours, or have you had a bunch of guys asking you, hey, I want your tickets? No, I'm using all mine for this game. My, my parents and grandma love going to the AT&T Stadium. So this is a tough game to get tickets for, though. Yeah. I know it's a big game for all y'all, but um, how Ty, how big do you think it is for the, for the Texas guys? Because you, you have a lot on the two deep. Uh, I mean, I'm not really sure how, you know, serious they're going to take this game. They might, you know, think this is huge or they may not care. I don't, I don't really know. I can't really speak for those guys. Okay. But Bumper's giving you the, the look. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I, we just got done with practice. I wasn't giving him any look. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. Nate, what do you got? Yeah, uh, Brown Price was asking about Spiller. Just kind of what problems does he present having having faced him before? Yeah, he's very patient back. He, you know, he sees his cut, hits it. Um, he's an elusive runner. Honestly, probably one of the best backs we'll face. Um, you know, I love kind of having a challenge like that. I think it makes all of us better players. Um, you know, what we did last year, I'm excited to build on, and uh, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun battle Saturday. You see a different type of back than Robinson of Texas, different style. Um, they have their similarities, um, but he, you know, he kind of wants to, you know, lower his pads, um, 
try to run you over. But then again, he's got elusiveness to him. Just a real complete back. Um, very, very good runner. So we're, we're excited about it. Thank you. Dudley. Bob, we're talking about Maddie and kind of the role she's carved out for herself here within the football program and how much she just helps recruiting in general. Yes, my sister is one of the hardest working people I know. I mean, she's up here every day doing a bunch of, honestly, she has so many different roles. Um, one of them is, you know, helping with my ticket situation. But, you know, for the coaches, you know, she's doing everything she can, helping with ops, recruiting. So just honestly so proud of everything she's done here. She kind of started out just in recruiting and then just kind of grew her role um, and took on so much more responsibility. So excited for everything that she's done and really proud of her. Thanks. Scotty, got Dudley? Yeah. Scotty, got anything else? No, I'm good. I'm good. Now I'll finish up. Okay. Hey, Ty, you commented on Rockets bringing a guy into the end zone with him. What about Dominic Johnson? He's had, he's had two runs where he's barreled through guys, and then he had the breakaway. What have you just thought of him kind of – he might, like, be one of the breakout stars on this team, you know? Yeah, it's – I think Buffalo will say the same thing. It's fun to watch him run, too, because he – you know, a lot of the other backs, you know, will try and run past you or they'll run through you. Dom, kind of like he's looking for contact out there. He wants to run you over. We're back and better than ever. All eyes are on the gridiron as teams are back to start another football season. And as always, Bet Online is your number one spot for all the college and pro football action this season. With a new updated site and interface and even more odds, props, and contests, Bet Online continues to be the number one source for everything college football. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 100% welcome bonus. That's double your initial deposit just for signing up. Don't forget to use Use the promo code NFL100. Bet online, the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports. Bet online, your online sportsbook experts.